Mike Hamilton here, Lithia Choid, and behind me I have a secret car. What is this thing back here? We thought it was going to go away, but it keeps on coming back. So let's go over this unusual build Toyota's has since 2018 that a lot of people still don't know about. Be right back. Toyota started this model back in 2018 and it like never took off. It's known as a CHR, which is kind of a little sporty crossover SUV. Would have been uh, something a lot more if it had an all wheel drive option. But uh, the reason why I'm coming off to the side here is you see the side profile. Um, look for the, uh, uh, the handle on the back door there. Uh, Toyota purposely designed this to make it look like it was only a two-door vehicle, which um, it is not. As you can see, it's got seams here, but they put the door handle way up top to kind of disguise it. Um, so you would think it is just a two-door. Um, but again, this is a four-door model, so it's a little five-seater crossover SUV. And it will kind of slot in, being a little smaller than the, the new Corolla Cross. And we were thinking... The Corolla Cross would take over and this would be eliminated. But for some reason, Toyota still wants to keep this vehicle. I would say not on this level. This is a limited, so your highest level of vehicle. Um, it, this is just under 30,000, but an LE. Um, you know, it's pretty much the same features, except for just not as much equipment. And you're getting the vehicle for in the 23s. Kind of a good deal right now. So, um, anyways, but taking a look at this one, we can see we have LED lights, LED accents, LED uh, high beams, low beams, and LED fog lights on this here. And I got to run it because it's hot. When I get in this car, I don't want to be burning up. So, if you're hearing any engine noise, I apologize. But, anyways, coming to the side, big turn signal indicators on here. It does come with blind spot monitors. Let's go over what the vehicle is. Again, this is a CHR Limited. Again, they have LE, XLE, and Limiteds, and then uh, four-star craft safety, uh, 29 miles combined, so it's all right. But a uh, regular gas RAV4 and the, also the uh, Corolla Cross do better than this. Uh, 2.0 engine, uh, four-cylinder um, on a CVT transmission. And then you have a few extras on this one. It has the Audio Plus, you have the eight-inch infotainment, touchscreen, six features, two-tone paint job is on this one here. All-weather floor liners, removable crossbars, which are this up here. But no moonroof or sunroof on this one here. So, so you're not getting that much. You can get that in the uh, Corolla Cross. And, of course, for the RAV4s for sure. So, But after destination, 29777. And Corolla Cross is kind of slot in there in that price range too. Not on a limited, but um, as far as lease XLEs, I don't think they even have a limited. I think it's just XLE so far. So anyways, you're going to see uh, pricing with similar equipment um, in the Corolla Cross. And they also have an all-wheel drive option. And later this year, they have a also a hybrid option. But there is some cool styling. You got the soft, soft tech synthetic leather, soft touch everywhere, piano gloss. Soft touch dash all through here. Um, and then you got this nickel polish shifter knob, the eight inch inf infotainment. There's heated dual stage seats on this here. Um, it's kind of this kind of a cute car, but let's take a look at the back. Not much room for the back seats here. 
pretty dinky. Um, the other side I had back for me, which I knew I wouldn't fit. It looks like I have the skinniest legs, but I like to show you how I would fit in here in six foot two. And uh, it, this is where it's sitting at right now. Probably wasn't for a test drive like this for the test drive it went on earlier. Uh, but anyways, a, a larger dog could do well if it needs put up a little bit. But they give you nothing back here. There's no armrests in here. Only cu a cup holder in the door. And that's about it. There's no air vents or uh, charging ports for the rear passenger. Let's go ahead and continue on. But there's some kind of nice little styling stuff they do on this one. They did a little bit more styling and things to this vehicle. Kind of a sporty rear end to this vehicle. Lights are pretty pronounced on it. You got your badge and CHR Limited. Little air scoop diff diffuser, shark fin. Again, your cro roof rack crossbars on the bottom and then you got this little carrot chr back down below uh exhaust is kind of hidden underneath um this is a hatch but no power hatch on this thing here does have a privacy shade no seats will fold down the flat i'm not going to mess with that but you get some nice pass through with those seats down it gives you a decent amount of storage and then your privacy cover to hide what you have in here and then all weather floor uh, mats and cargo liner are all part of this vehicle Okay, moving off into this the side here, you, we have, uh, again, uh, the mirrors with uh, blind spot and turn signal indicators. Um, and then this has uh, power folding mirrors. So if I do this, you can see that. So, um, which they finally started doing that in some of the Highlanders, which I thought was silly that you could get a uh, this car at $23,000 and have folding mirrors. You couldn't do that with a Highlander with a Platinum, but they're doing that now for the new model year, getting power folding mirrors available to them. Um, power windows, power mirrors, power lock, pouting for power folding mirrors, auto dimming, high beam button is on here, your fill door release, and you have uh, power, eight way power plus power lumbar for your driver here. Uh, so some nice features. Let's go ahead and move into the inside. All right, got the air going. Let me turn that down just a bit. So bigger eight-inch infotainment supports Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, XM Radio. Um, then you have the driver's information center with a bunch of different things in here: radio information, uh, your lane departure alerts, your messages, and then lane departure, pre-collision, blind spot monitors, reads your speed limits. Um, and then drive modes and you can see it's 104 degrees outside right now and it's also blowing like 15 miles an hour so it's like being in a blow dryer right now um anyways let's move this seat back or this the steering wheel a little bit closer then you can take a look at this steering wheel all your stuff for your radios on here picking up hanging up your push to talk and then all your stuff for your uh your center information center there the center console trip information uh, cruise control all part of that uh, we have dual climate controls on this here, so his and hers, and then uh, all your different air flows are all part of this here. Um, and then we have heated three-stage seats that are on here. Didn't push that button. I was going to show you that. There's a heat state, three-stage seats. And um, coming down below, we have our primary port for our, our Apple CarPlay, some cell phone pockets there. We have bigger cup holders here. This has electronic uh, parking brake and brake hold, traction control off. Again, you got this kind of cool nickel polished uh, knob there. Uh, up on top, we just have a regular manual mirror, no auto dimming, no garage door memory sets. And then we have, we're gonna have incandescent light, not, uh, uh, not premium LED lights in this here. SOS button, it's in every Toyota that does uh, emergency service so if you're ever in an accident where airbags deploy they will reach out to the call center and they'll re they'll be calling you to ask if you need help uh, have your coordinates and be able to get send uh, emergency personnel to you um, broken down ran out of gas flat tire you have roadside assistance and they also have a period of time for the first three years you have stolen vehicle locator you can do uh, you have your vanity mirrors that are light lighted here these don't slide these are just basic but you do have the extender here so that's a little nice feature on here Again, Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota. I don't know if this car makes sense at this price range with this limited. Again, you are getting a few more features, but I'm not seeing limited type stuff like premium audio, auto dimming rear view mirror, like garage door memory sets, 
um, some of the features I would expect in a limited. Um, but you know, I think this is more equivalent to an XLE Corolla Cross. And for the money that I would spend, I would rather have the Corolla Cross and have a little bit larger vehicle with more uh, more room and about the same amount of features, um, better fuel economy. Um, you also have the all-wheel drive option that this vehicle doesn't have. And then shortly here at the end of the year, a hybrid option to that Corolla Cross. So I think this makes a lot of sense in this basic model. It's LE, it's only 23 and change as long as Toyota hasn't rated, rose in the price on that. But uh, last one I sold was just a little over 23,000. Now that's just slightly more than a basic le corolla uh, sedan so getting this vehicle on that for that price i think makes sense and stuff it's a inexpensive crossover suv giving you a little bit more room a little bit more sporty and and pretty inexpensive as the you're going to see about three thousand more dollars uh, in uh, in an le uh a front wheel drive corolla cross well anything anyways thank you for watching we'll see you next time